we got a juicer. <laughs> I'm so excited over it. This is, this is getting old for sure. We got tons of vegetables yesterday. Probably the most amount of fresh vegetables that I've ever <laughs> purchased in one uh, grocery haul. But I just want to start incorporating more juices in my day because I feel like it's such an easy way to get micronutrients in that I just don't get enough throughout the day. Nick has chopped up all the veggies. We have celery, carrots, ginger, micro arugula, spinach, uh, cucumber, lemon. Oh, that are you ready to get so healthy? So red. Oh, fist bump. Looks so, good, right? <laughs> they are amazing. Them. That's all. Day one. Babies. <laughs> and the camera falls on over. She locked you out. Hello? Hello? Oh, am I loud? Jazzy, where's your outfit from? The brown bikini is 437. I don't remember where I got this. So cute. What about you? do I feel like I need a reset oh I will catch you guys up on everything but let's start off with a little bit of skincare oh man I feel like I need to do like a mask or something my skin feels so dull maybe let's start with that these have been my favorite masks for probably the last year or so Medeca Derma revitalizing masks they're amazing. I woke up way too early because I'm still on Jamaican time, the time zone. I usually will do this mask after traveling, after like a bad night's sleep. If I just feel dull, like right before my period comes, I feel like my skin just needs extra help. Oh my god, when you put it on, it's like the most cooling thing ever. My under eyes are like loving this. I am going to keep this baby on for 15 minutes. That's how long you have to keep it on. 10 to 20 minutes, so I usually do 15. I am actually working with Medeca Derma on today's video. I have worked with them in the past, and the last time I worked with them, I really fell in love with their product. So I have my two favorites from them, and I feel like this came at a perfect time because I was planning on using it. I actually wanted to bring these to Jamaica with me, but I totally forgot. But I feel like these would have been perfect after a day in the sun. Um, 
Not that I let my skin tan really, but I just feel like when you get really hot and like your skin gets really hot, this just feels so nice. They also have this revitalizing serum, which I talked about the last time I worked with them. I love this serum so much. If you have dull skin, if you have skin that's dehydrated, I'm obsessed with it. It gives you like the nicest glow and the nicest feel. And it has something in it called um, Centella Asiatica which is tiger grass. I learned this last time and it's used in Korean skincare products because it helps calm everything down. So basically when tigers have a rash or when they don't feel well, they will like roll around in this grass and it's amazing for you. And the mask is 100% cotton, so it just kind of helps the absorption of everything when you put it on. Um, so you know that the ingredients are really going to penetrate your skin. So I love to do this, like I said, when I just feel like I kind of need it. But this you can use every single day, morning and night. Also, fun fact, the uh, Centella Asiatica tiger grass, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, um, is grown in the Madagascar, which is super cool. They have a really great way of harvesting it that doesn't like harm the planet or anything. They are one of the best uh, selling skincare brands in Korea. Ooh. I feel like immediately my skin looks better. <laughs> Going with the serum now. I will have a code for you guys to use. It'll be listed on the screen. And you guys can shop Medeca Derma through the first link in my bio. That's it. I'm gonna go drink some celery juice now and try to help my digestive system. <laughs> Back. Good morning. Nick has given me a carrot, celery, ginger, and lemon juice. And this is gonna bring me back to life. Guys, it turns out that when you make a really good routine for yourself and you get out of that routine, not fun. <laughs> home cooked meal is brunch today. I have two egg whites and two eggs scrambled with some coconut oil and salt. One full avocado with lemon and salt as well. And then some mixed greens and microgreens on the side. And I'm actually going to put some olive oil on it as well. Put a little bit of lemon. Although we really didn't eat that bad when we were away, bad, what does that even mean? We definitely ate a lot of foods that my system wasn't necessarily used to or prepared for. There's a lot of spices and sauces and different kinds of fruit that I've never had. So I just am kind of craving basic comfort meal type of food. So eggs and avocado, of course. Eggs and coconut oil. I used to be someone that would get home from a trip and the first thing that I would do is go to the gym and run on the treadmill for as long as I possibly could and just try to like get back into my routine as fast as I could. I don't do that anymore. I don't do that and I don't recommend that you do that. I really recommend that you take it easy. I feel like the best thing you can do for your body after coming home from a trip is just resting. So all that to say that I am actually going to the gym right now, but I am going to walk on the treadmill for about 20 minutes and then I'm going to use the steam room. My gym has a steam room and I feel like that's all I want to do right now. I just want to sweat and be warm and put my legs up for a little bit and just let my lymphatic system do its thing and move a little bit. So. That's what I'm gonna do today. And then tomorrow, if I feel like it, maybe I'll do some hot yoga or something along those lines. And then maybe the day after I will do Pilates. That's kind of my approach. I feel like day three, after you come back from a trip is when your body is like a little bit more regulated. But right now I'm like on a different time zone. I don't really feel that well, or I feel okay. I just feel like a little dysregulated. So let's go try to regulate with some heat. My body loves heat, you guys. I. I know cold plunging is like so good for you and I am incorporating that in my routine but I love saunas, steam rooms, red light therapy beds, all that. 
my body just yeah responds to heat a little too well. I like a full grocery. Went grocery shopping, of course, absolutely necessary after a, after a trip. Mm. I feel like we haven't had eggplant in a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> Got this good cultured probiotic cream cheese wow. spread for oh Nick's bagels. Got some bagels. Seafood. Seafood medley. This is so great to with salmon. Hey, okay, let's do. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. just a weird Friday. I get it. <laughs> And who else is happy? Do you want these tonight? I mean, tonight! Yeah. Turns out I'm obsessed with these. Sit. I love them so much. I keep repurchasing them. Oh, these, you guys! These are so good. Nick and I are both obsessed with these. Yeah, and I got one yesterday too, so we're extra. European style organic butter. Now, I don't really eat butter. I'll have it like very, very, very rarely, but Nick will love some butter. And so does Brady. Asparagus? Lots of celery now that we have a juicer, we will be juicing. You guys, I still love kettle and fire, but I tried this bone broth in the frozen section of Whole Foods. It's mm -hmm. so good. It's uh, taste wise, I actually have to say, I think this is my favorite. Mm -hmm. I got three. Well, okay. Bread. <laughs> Organic sourdough. Turmeric. Yeah. How's that look? Just so the yellow, the more orangey. Oh. That's ginger. And this is turmeric. Sounds like we're talking about our like, two new dogs. This is ginger. OJ. OJ. Pizza. Sweet earth pizza. It has all the vegetables on it, and it's a wheat crust. Honestly, it's pretty good. The carrots and. And some sauerkraut. I haven't had sauerkraut in a very long time. Grass-fed, grass-finished beef, and last but not least, a yogurt. Yes. Should I get to shucking? Get to shucking. And then get to shucking. What the hell? <laughs> Don't be here. I wish I could keep that in, but I can't. <laughs> I tried when my dad was here, we did 12 for 12 oysters, and I did three of each. There were four different kinds oh. to sit in front of the little heater every single morning. <laughs> he gets as close to it as possible. The trimmer gets pretty strong. Yeah. I know you guys are gonna think this is insane, but I do like to eat the outside of the lemon. I don't think it's too sour. I feel like I have no sour meter. Nothing is too sour. And I heard it's really good for you. Anyway, I just finished filming two auditions. So try it. Ask him for money. I, I can't just ask him for money. What's the worst that can happen? He says no. I'll make sure the charges are dropped regardless of what he says, but you have to ask. This is stupid, Linda. <laughs> of course it's stupid. That's the whole point of an initiation. It's only fun if it's a little bit dangerous. Yeah, hey, uh, have that next to my. Oh, not the next to my desk. Yeah, hey, have that on uh, my desk by 5 p.m. Terry, you're back. What, does that mean the gamma's dropped all the charges? How did you know about that? Hey, is that. And it was for the same project, same casting director, same everything, so it's kind of fun. I have another one from the same project, same casting director, due, due tomorrow. Um, I just couldn't do them all three at once because it was a lot, but. We just made some dinner. We have slow cooked chicken, sweet potatoes, and then we both have side salads that are already on the table. Also, yes, I have liver and I have heart. I do eat everything from the chicken. That's how I was raised to eat. That's how we eat it in Ukraine. And then Nick also has his favorite part of the chicken and some white potato. Also, you guys, look at how 
light my hair is getting than how long it's getting. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it for now. I feel like I kind of want it to be like down to here and then I'm gonna stop, but I don't want it to be too long. I feel like I don't look that good with long hair, but I'm kind of liking, I'm liking this thing right now. Sopranos? Rolling? Yeah. Oh, wow, that looks good. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have ketchup? Ketchup. Oh. <laughs> Your signature <are> move? <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Where's your bed? You have some ketchup. Oh my god, you guys, I came home from Jamaica and Nick had all the chocolates for me possible. Right. <laughs> which ones do you want? I love you so much. I love you. Mm. Okay. The ones that yes, are the open. open ones? This one? I don't know if this one, this one is not open. Okay, we have the hazelnut butter dark chocolate. Ooh, I've never tried this one. Is it the raspberry one? Yeah. yeah, I brought that one on your birthday and remember I tried that one, it was really good. Mm, okay. Do you want your snacks? My Scooby snacks. Oh. My doodles. <laughs> and some chickpea chips. We have to have Bernie's um, snacks on hand because he's going to start begging for chicken. <laughs> no, Bernie. Don't even think about it. <laughs> Bernie's allergic to chicken, otherwise, I would give him some. But he has major diarrhea when you eat it. Can't have any. 